Oh God, how could this have happened? You're, you're bleeding. It's not stopping. Hey, stay with me. Don't die, you hear me? I need you here. I need you here with me. Damn it. We both knew this would happen. But why? Why does it have to be this way? Listen to me. Listen to my voice. With what little time you have left, I have to tell you something. Whatever it takes, whoever it takes, however long it takes, no matter what, I will save you. It doesn't matter what the laws of the universe dictate. I believe with all of my heart that the past can be changed. So this isn't goodbye. It's never goodbye. I know that I'll find a way to bring you back, you hear me? We're not ordinary people, damn it. Reality bends to our will. We have the power to change the world. Even if that chance is 0.1%, I will find it. One day, we will be together again. So just wait for me, okay? I love you. Always remember that. All right. This is the place. They should be here any minute now. I need to stay calm. I can do this. I know more about them than they know about me. Oh, they're here. <clears throat> hey, what are you doing out here in the rain? You haven't even got a jacket on. You're gonna catch a cold. Who am I? No one important. I'm just a concerned stranger, that's all. Don't you want to come inside the cafe? I mean, it'll be warmer there. Huh? You want to stay outside? But why? Hey, are those tears? You've been going through some stuff, haven't you? Well, listen, you can talk to me about it, okay? I know we don't know each other, but I can't stand to see someone like this. Here, take shelter under this umbrella. You deserve better than to die a painful death from hypothermia. So what happened? Who did this to you? Who made you feel this way? I see. A man, huh? You got rejected by someone you care about. It's always painful to lose someone you care about, whatever way that may be. For what it's worth, I understand what you're going through. Listen, my name's Foster. What's yours? <laughs> I used to know someone who had that name, actually. And another thing. This rain reminds me of them. They used to spend a lot of time out in the rain. I'd always come outside and ask them what was wrong. Then we'd both go inside and talk about it over a hot cup of coffee. What's that look for? Yeah, I guess both the name and rain are things you both have in common. But it's just a coincidence. Or maybe it's not a coincidence. Maybe it's a sign. Perhaps it was fate that we would meet today. Do I believe in fate? Well, yes. But I didn't always. In the past, I only believed in straight facts and provable science. But somewhere down the line, I realized... Maybe fate itself is a provable science. A scientific variable. Just as real as any other law of the universe, such as gravity or cause and effect. But in any case, the fact that we've both met today must mean something. It doesn't matter whether it's fate or coincidence. There's a secret I've been holding on to for a very long time. And you just might be the person to share it with. You dislike your life, don't you? You're tired of this constant cycle. You want to escape from it all and forget about your problems. What if I told you there was a way you could do that? In fact, no. Let me rephrase that question. 
If someone right here, right now, gave you the option to leave your life behind and go on an incredible adventure like no one has ever experienced, would you take it? You would? Interesting. Then I have one more question for you. Will you join me? That depends. Well, all right. I suppose you'll need a little extra convincing. I'm about to press this button. And once I do, you're going to see something you won't believe. It's time you saw what was in Pandora's box. Beautiful, isn't it? That right there's my personal capsule. Who am I? I'm so glad you asked. I'm Foster, and I'm a time traveler. You look shocked, perhaps even terrified. But you said you wanted to leave your life behind and go on an adventure. If you truly meant that, then come with me. Don't stop to question your sanity. Don't stop to question if you're dreaming this. This is reality, and it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'll ask you one more time. Will you join me? Good. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Now tell me, where do you want to go? Actually, wait. I've got just the place. Engaging startup sequence. Make sure you're strapped in. Because this is going to feel really weird. From this day forward, you are a time traveler. got it all wrong. The real question is, when are we? My dear friend, welcome to the year 1942. Look around you. Amazing, isn't it? You're one of the few people on this entire planet to experience what it's like to enter a foreign time period. You, my friend, are lucky. So don't be so downcast. Don't say that you hate your life. Because there's so many things in this world just waiting to be discovered. Now, come with me. Let's take a look around, shall we? Right now we're in a small village somewhere in Britain. It's a warm and cozy place. Well, when I say warm, I mean it figuratively, since... This is England, after all. Rain clouds are pretty much the staple here. With how peaceful things are right now, it's... Easy to forget there's a war going on. I know a really nice tea shop nearby. Do you want to go there? You wouldn't think it, but the way people make tea really differs depending on the time period. It's something you really only understand once you experience it for yourself. <laughs> You're still taking it all in. Yes, it's crazy, isn't it? This is why I love time travel. I'm glad that I finally get to share this feeling with someone. Hey, Bethany. This is my friend. Can we get some of your finest tea? Alright. Let's just sit here and enjoy the atmosphere for a bit. Hey. Thanks for coming with me. I'm really glad that you're here. Though, I should warn you. 
time travel isn't all fun and games. Sometimes it can be pretty dangerous. When you're visiting a time period you know very little about, and you never really know when things might go wrong. Don't worry, though. As long as you're with me, you'll be fine. I'll protect you, no matter what it takes. And it's... so good to finally see you again. Wait, what the hell's that? Hang on. Oh shit, we came at a bad time. This is 1942. Of course there'd be air raids. Last time I came here, nothing happened. But I guess we weren't so lucky this time. We need to get out of here. Let's hurry. Everybody's panicking. They're running to the bomb shelters. We can't do that, though. If we do, the time machine will be destroyed and we'll be stuck here. We need to make it back no matter what. That shouldn't be a problem, though. It's not too far away. Down here. We're almost there. What? It's not here. Wait. I think I got the directions wrong. Shit. I'm not thinking clearly with all this adrenaline. Fuck. That sounded close. Just stick with me. I think I remember where the time machine is now. Yes, here it is. Quick, get in. Make sure you're strapped in. We're traveling to another time period. we made it out. Everything was under control, see? Uh, there's nothing to worry about. Hey, why do you look so pissed off? Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't expect there to be an air raid. Usually that village is really peaceful. I did tell you, though. Time travel can be dangerous. I'll try not to put us in another situation like that. But if you want to go back to your own time period and forget any of this ever happened... I understand. I wouldn't recommend that, though. We've only just scratched the surface of what we can see. And besides, do you really want to go back to that life you hate so much? Anyway, we're in a new time period now. Welcome to the year 1870, a.k.a. the Wild West. We're in a small town in the middle of a big desert. This place is home to cowboys, Native Americans, sheriffs, and outlaws. The main mode of transport is horse, and everybody has a strong western accent. You'd be hard-pressed to find anyone who wasn't carrying a gun on their belt. Needless to say, this is the perfect place to come if you're looking to live your life with a little excitement. You know, I really do have a way with words, don't I? I could be a travel agent for people wanting to visit different time periods. Just imagine it. It'd be pretty cool. Anyway, what are we doing standing around out here? Let's go inside one of the saloons and order a drink. Hey, bartender, give me a whiskey. Hey, don't worry. You don't need to be sober to operate a time machine. Well, actually, you sort of need to be able to operate the complicated stuff and type in the coordinates, but uh, it's not that important. I say we just have fun. Hey, mister, what are those clothes you're wearing? Them clothes don't look normal. Oh, well, I'm not from around here. Where I come from, these clothes are pretty normal. Oh, so you're not from around here, huh? You're an outsider. Don't tell me. Are you one of those Indians? The Indians are outsiders? You know the Native Americans were here long before you, right? Are you trying to pick a fight with me? No one speaks to me like that. You're dead! Oh, dear, this is bad. Uh, oh, uh... Whoa! What the hell's that? Huh? What? Where? 
Ha, <laughs> gotcha. You fell for the oldest trick in the book. Cowboy? <laughs> More like, uh, stupid boy. Damn it, I was hoping I'd think of a good insult before I finished that sentence. Oh, crap. He has friends. And they want to kill us. I'm really good at this whole staying alive thing, aren't I? All right. On the count of three, I want us both to run out the back door. One, two, three, go! Okay, so that didn't go as planned. But don't worry. I've got one more destination I want to try today. Here we are. Welcome to the 15th century, aka medieval times. This one's a classic. Swords, shields, knights, Princesses. This time period is home to many great stories told in the modern age. So tell me, are you interested in going on a medieval adventure? With our modern day knowledge and tech, I'm sure we'll find a way to climb our way up the hierarchy. Hey, watch where you're going. Uh, sorry, sir. I didn't mean to bother you. Huh. Well, that situation was oddly familiar. Wait a minute. I know this cliche. Let me check. Where's my. Ah, oh, shit. That little rascal stole my wallet. How does he even know that wallet has money in it? Last I checked, people in medieval times didn't use the same wallets we do. Whatever. Joke's on him. I'm totally broke. And also, even if I weren't, there's no way any merchants in this time period would accept 21st century American dollars. And let's leave this town and go out to see the countryside. You'd be surprised how beautiful the outdoors can be when it's not covered in modern-day litter. Wow. Look at this lake. The water's so clear. No trash, no pollution. Stuff like this makes me realize just how much of a shame it is that we've industrialized everything. To think that just a few centuries ago from our own time, nature was at peace and undisturbed. And that's not to say that medieval times are better than the 21st century. I mean, you've got witch hunts, plagues, not to mention they'd kill you for being gay. But even with all of our development, humanity's lost something important. And I only realized that after becoming a time traveler. It's so easy to be oblivious to it all when you're only living in the moment. And the sun's going down now. It's evening. The sky's a beautiful shade of orange. Everything about this atmosphere is just... so romantic. I feel like I could just stay here forever. This place feels like my own personal heaven. And especially since you're here. I'm really glad you came along. You have no idea how much this means to me. Your face is all red. Are you nervous? Relax. It's just us here. Hmm? What is it? You want to know why I keep acting so affectionate around you? I see. So you noticed. I guess now's a good time to tell you. It's something you may not believe, but since you've just gone time traveling, I doubt you'll find it all that far-fetched. Our meeting today wasn't coincidence, nor was it fate. In fact, it was completely intentional. I guess you could say I know a lot about you. Not because I've been stalking you or anything, but because I've already known you for a very long time. 
You and I know each other in the future. And we're very close. Actually, that would be an understatement. You see, we're actually married in the future. That's right. I'm your future husband. Pretty weird, huh? <laughs> no, this isn't a joke. What, are you unimpressed with who you ended up with? Way to break my heart. The person you're talking to right now is me from the future. But in a couple of years, you'll meet the version of me from your own time. So how do you feel? Is it weird meeting your future husband? You're... happy? Well, that's a surprise. I thought you'd be totally creeped out. I'm really glad to hear that, though. It really does mean a lot. Honestly, I was prepared to get totally rejected at first. But you're actually happy to see me. That's very heartwarming. Let's go on lots of adventures from now on. I want to show you what's really out there. And... I want to fall in love with you all over again. Uh, sorry if that's a bit forward. <laughs> I may be your future husband, but from your point of view, right now I'm just a total stranger. Huh? You don't mind? <laughs> really now? In that case... Would you mind if I kissed you? Ah, uh, you're, you're blushing. That's really cute. Please, never change. Now, what am I saying? I already know you won't. Just close your eyes. You're so much less experienced than your older self. But I like it. And I love getting to see this side of you. And all of this makes me so happy. I'm so glad that I finally got another chance to see you. And after what happened, I thought I'd never get to lay eyes on you again. Uh-huh. What do I mean by that? Oh, um, I... You didn't hear me correctly. I was just talking about how great it was to see your younger self in person. Huh? I'm lying? I... Well, that's... Listen. This is something you're better off not knowing. Trust me. You'll regret asking. So please, you just forget about it. Didn't you hear anything I just said? I can't tell you. You'll never forgive me if I do. <sighs> Damn it. Do you still want to know? Fine then. I guess there's no point in avoiding it. I already knew I'd have to tell you. Your future self told me we already had this conversation. Here's the real reason I came back to visit you. The truth is... There is no you in the future. Anymore, at least. In the future I come from, you were shot and killed by a man on the street. That's right. You die in the future. I know that's a lot to take in. Unfortunately, with the way time travel works in real life, it's not actually possible to change the past and alter timelines like they do in movies. That means you won't be able to use the information I've given you to stop yourself from dying. I've tried many times to go back and prevent your death. But every time, something would stop me. It was only after hundreds of tries that I accepted reality and finally gave up. It hit me pretty hard. I hated the fact that even with something as amazing as time travel, it was impossible to bring you back to life. You were everything to me. And all the power in the world couldn't bring you back. Once I accepted the facts, I decided to talk to you one last time for closure. I needed to see your smile again. So I came back in time to talk to you. As it stands currently, you're on a death timer. On that exact day, you will die. But until then, nothing can kill you. So on the bright side, 
you can be as reckless as you want up until that point. You look really terrified. I'm sorry you had to hear this. As I said, there is no point in avoiding it. This conversation was already set in stone. Do you need some time? I can leave you alone for a bit if that's what you need. And I did tell you that you'd regret asking. But never mind. What's done is done. Are you okay? Listen, let's get your mind off this. You must be tired after everything today. I'll take you back home. We can continue adventuring after you've had a good night's rest. You need time to take in all this information. Alright. I'll set the coordinates to the exact date and time I took you from. It'll be as if you were never gone. Hmm? What's wrong? You're scared, huh? I know you definitely must be. I can't imagine what it would be like to know about my own death. I'm so sorry. About all of this. You never deserved any of this misfortune. You'd have been better off if you'd never met me. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make your time alive the best it can possibly be. So I'll stop by again and pick you up. We can go anywhere you want. Any time you want. One condition. It has to be amazing. Wait, what's going on? I didn't press anything. Why is it charging up? Quick, hold on to something. I don't know what's happening, but hold on. What the hell was that? Where are we? This looks like my time period. But why? Someone must have snuck into the time capsule while we were gone and set the coordinates. Uh, but who would do that? Never mind. There's only one place they could be hiding. And that's under the floor sheet. There's no one here anymore. But wait. There's a note here. You have the key. Now try again. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Wait. What date is it? I'm gonna check the console. Holy shit. This is... This is the day you died. So that note, when it says try again, it means they want me to try saving you again? What does it mean by I have the key? Are they seriously suggesting that's still possible for me to save you? That's... That's... <laughs> that's impossible! I don't know who this person is, but they're seriously pissing me off! Why, God? Why are you trying to give me hope? Haven't I suffered enough? Why are you trying to trick me again? What kind of sadistic joke is this, damn it? Events that have already happened before my eyes can't be changed. That's an undeniable fact of this universe. Even if I didn't already know that, the hundreds of times I tried over and over again proved it to me. I wish it wasn't like that, but that's reality. What could I possibly do this time that would be different from last time? But you know what? Maybe... Maybe I'll try. Just one more time. This person, the one who sent us here and gave us this letter, they seem to believe it's possible. Whatever the reason is, I don't know, but it's something. If there's even the slightest chance that I can save you, no matter how small, I have to take it. It'll probably end in disappointment. But I have to try. I have to try and keep the promise I made to you. I tried to save you many times. But this time, I'll have you with me. So what do you say? Are you up for it? Good. Then let's go. Hmm. 
This is quite a few years in the future from where I took you from. Humanity's developed self-driving cars, mass-produced virtual reality, and created super-advanced artificial intelligence. It's the year of progress. By this point, the two of us have been married for quite a few years. But today, at 6 p.m., that marriage ends with your murder. Our goal is to prevent that. The place you died was a place called Golden Street. We're gonna have to keep that location in mind this whole time, as well as a few others. I don't remember them all, though. I'm gonna have to check Google Maps. Let's go to a place with Wi-Fi. There's a diner over there. That'll do. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. Make sure you don't talk to anyone, okay? Hey, excuse me? Yes, how may I help you? Uh, could I get a space shake, please? No problem. Your drink will be brought to you in approximately 45 seconds. Thanks, babe. Sexual harassment of AI workers is strictly prohibited and carries the risk of a lengthy jail sentence. Oh, geez, I was kidding. I'm not actually going to flirt with the AI. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm married. Oh, hello. Do I know you? Yeah, I'm Foster. How did you know my name? No, I don't believe we've ever met before. Though I will say, you look a lot like my partner. We've been married for quite a few years now. Today's our anniversary. I doubt I'd get the two of you confused, though. You look a little younger. Your space shake has arrived, sir. Alright, gotta bounce. Hey, I'm back. Is everything alright? What? You met my past self? Here? Damn it. Guess I forgot that I was here that day. Whatever. We'll just have to be more careful from now on. Uh, contrary to what movies say, paradoxes aren't actually possible. Let's get going. Our first stop is the gun shop. Yeah, gun shops are pretty common in this era. This is America, after all. Are you really surprised? Here's the plan. We're going to put your killer out of commission before he can kill the future you. This isn't the first time I've done this plan. But since that note said I apparently have the key, I guess there's a chance it'll work this time. Right as he's about to shoot you, we'll shoot him. Then that's it. It'll be over. If this works, your life will be saved. And your existence will have a future. Alright. We've got everything we need. We're in position, and it's almost 6 p.m. We're gonna hide around this corner until our other selves arrive. There they are. Stay quiet. Hey, today was really fun. We should have more anniversaries. <laughs> I know it doesn't work that way. I'm kidding, obviously. Man, being a time traveler is awesome. But sometimes, just going out on a normal date is really refreshing. Hey, what's wrong? You're scared, aren't you? I know. You told me you're supposed to die one of these days, right? It's something my future self told you when you were younger. Listen to me. There's no way in hell I'm gonna let that happen. I believe that love is stronger than fate. You're not gonna die. I'll protect you, no matter what. Just think about all the adventures we've been on. Time and time again, we've cheated death. Remember that time we got captured by German soldiers during World War II? We both thought that was the end. But against all odds, we outsmarted them. And not only did we escape, we managed to rescue all of the other prisoners too. No matter what happens, we'll always figure a way out. That's just who we are. As long as we're together, nothing in the world can stop us. Hold it right there, you two. Stop where you are. What the hell? Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> You're asking who I am? Of course you would. You don't remember me. No one ever remembers me. The name's Johnny. I think you've got us confused with someone else. Please, 
Leave us alone. Leave you alone? After what you did to me? Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> Society's all the same. No one understands how they've made me suffer. Now you'll pay. Now you'll pay for hurting me. Whoa, hey, put that gun away. Please. We don't want any trouble. You want me to leave you alone? All right. Fine. I won't hurt you. You're free to go. Huh? What? You're free to go. People nowadays don't value their own lives anymore. They care about their precious little families. So that's why I'm gonna kill your lover. Wait, no, stop. All right, I'm gonna take the shot now. We'll end this incident and save your life. Wait, what? What the hell? The gun's jammed. It won't fire. Say goodbye to your precious partner, lover boy. Wait, please, no! Die, you pathetic bitch. Rotten hell. And you, boy, suffer for the rest of your days. Damn it. We failed to stop him. The universe wouldn't allow us to change the past, so the gun jammed before we could fire. There's got to be another way. Oh, God. How could this have happened? You're... You're bleeding. It's not stopping. Hey, stay with me. Don't die, you hear me? I need you here. I need you here with me. Damn it. We both knew this would happen. But why? Why does it have to be this way? Listen to me. Listen to my voice. With what little time you have left, I have to tell you something. Whatever it takes. Whoever it takes, however long it takes, no matter what, I will save you. It doesn't matter what the laws of the universe dictate. I believe with all of my heart that the past can be changed. So this isn't goodbye. It's never goodbye. I know that I'll find a way to bring you back, you hear me? We're not ordinary people, damn it. Reality bends to our will. We have the power to change the world. Even if that chance is 0.1%, I will find it. One day, we will be together again. So just wait for me, okay? I love you. Always remember that. I'm gonna go get help. Don't you die on me. Damn it, this is exactly what I should have expected. The universe couldn't allow me to change the past, so the gun ended up being jammed. Just who the hell wrote that letter? What are they expecting me to do? Is this even worth trying? Whatever. I have another plan. And I believe this one has a higher chance of working. Come with me. We need to go back in time again. Back to the start of the day. It's too early to give up just yet. This time, no guns. Their functionality is too unreliable. This time, we'll use something far less bombastic. That's right. We're gonna hit him on the back of the head with this baseball bat. But that's not the important part. What's different this time is we're gonna attack him long before the killing occurs. This way, preventing the murder won't involve getting noticed by our other selves. We're already in position. Our plan is to knock him out and toss him into the trunk of this car. But we don't want to kill him. Since he hasn't done anything yet, that would count as murder. And we don't want the police doing an autopsy and arresting our other selves. We just need to make it so that he's physically incapable of committing the murder at the time it's supposed to happen. If he's locked in our trunk, he's hardly going to be able to do anything. Quiet. Here he comes. What a godforsaken day. Just as I get out of that goddamn prison they call a mental institution, the police start searching for me. The outside world isn't what it used to be. This damn world can go rotten hell. Hey, you. Stop where you are. Huh? Who are you? What do you want? You mean you don't recognize me? 
Of course you don't. I suppose we haven't actually met yet. But that doesn't matter. Tell me. Just who exactly are you? And what reason would you have to commit murder? Murder? Now hold on there. I haven't killed anybody yet. Yet, huh? So you admit that you plan to commit murder? I don't plan on doing anything. But if anyone gets in my way today, I have no problem ending that person's life. And I mean that. So you'd better scram. You bastard. I've heard enough. <coughs> you... What are you doing? This is what you get for killing the person dearest to me. For causing me so much pain and suffering. I swear, I have no idea what you're talking about. Please, I wouldn't actually kill anyone. <laughs> that was a joke. Shut up. <coughs> you're lucky I don't plan on killing you. That's what you deserve after what you did. You have me confused with someone else. I've done no such thing. Lights out, you bastard. Never wake up. <coughs> <sighs> He's unconscious now. Help me haul him into the trunk of the car. Well, looks like that job is done. All we have to do is wait and make sure he doesn't get out of the trunk until the day has passed. And there's no way he can get out of this. It's impossible to break the trunk open. He really is trapped. You know, it's really weird. Out of the hundreds of times I went back to try and save you, this is the closest I've ever gotten. It must be... because you're here. Wait, that was it, wasn't it? The so-called key the letter mentioned. That's you. You're the key. I needed your past self with me to save your future self. Maybe this actually will work. For the first time in years, I have hope again. I'm reminded of how I felt right after you died. I was determined. I believed with all of my heart that it was possible to save you. Perhaps when I gave up, that was me losing my way. I ended up breaking my promise to save you. But if this works, then I guess that promise isn't broken after all. Listen, I owe you an apology for giving up. I should have kept trying. You're my soulmate after all. I never should have accepted your death. I love you. So much. And no matter what, even if this attempt fails somehow, I will find a way to save you. I have hope. No, scrap that. I have faith that it's possible to save you. So let's do this. We're gonna make your future a good one. Wait. Those are police sirens. Shit. Those are for us, aren't they? Someone must have seen us beat the guy up and toss him into the trunk. I thought there was no one around, but I guess I was careless. Get in, quick. We need to get out of here. The police are right behind us. This is really bad. I really didn't want to do this, but we don't have any choice. Here it goes. Cortana. Activate hover function. Huh. Welcome to the future. I'm glad I spent extra cash on the new model for this thing. Hover cars are a pretty recent invention. I'm not very good at flying this thing, but I can just barely hold it. Crap. They've got hovercrafts too. Looks like we're gonna have ourselves a battle in the sky. Hold on tight. We're about to activate the turbo. One of two things is about to happen. Either we crash and burn, or we're gonna go real far, real fast. Ha! Huh. Now this is pod racing. It looks like we've lost them. Not a single cop in sight. Wait, is that a cyber missile? Shit, it's already locked onto us. We can't avoid it. Brace yourself and prepare for impact. Are you all right? Wake up! Thank God you're all right. That was quite the crash. Shit, 
What about the man in the trunk? We have to check he's still there. He's not here. Damn it. He escaped. The timeline is setting things back on track again. We need to track him down before he reaches the street at the end of today and kills your other self. Wait. It's already almost time. Just how much time has passed? We need to hurry and get back to Golden Street right now. Damn it. Why can't we get there faster? We're close. Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> You're asking who I am? Of course you would. You don't remember me. No one ever remembers me. The name's Johnny. Wait, what did he just say? No, it can't be. I think you've got us confused with someone else. Please, leave us alone. Leave you alone? After what you did to me? Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> Society's all the same. No one understands how they've made me suffer. Now you'll pay. Now you'll pay for hurting me. No way. I caused it. He's doing this because of us. Whoa, hey, put that gun away. Please. We don't want any trouble. You want me to leave you alone? All right. Fine. I won't hurt you. You're free to go. Uh-huh. What? You're free to go. People nowadays don't value their own lives anymore. They care about their precious little families. So that's why I'm gonna kill your lover. Wait, please, no! Die, you pathetic bitch. Rotten hell. And you, boy, suffer for the rest of your days. I can't believe it. It all makes sense now. After he escaped from our car, he went to Golden Street and came across our other selves and thought it was us. And then, out of anger, he shot you with his gun. The reason why he killed you was revenge. He attacked us because we attacked him first. That means... the reason why you were killed was because of me. I can't believe it. I did it. I'm the reason for your death. Me being here and trying to change the past is exactly what caused this to happen. I really thought it was possible. For the first time in so long, I believed it with all of my heart. But now I know. Now I know that it can't be done. I mean, for God's sake, we caused the very event we were trying to stop. <laughs> I feel like I'm being tormented. This is my punishment for living such a sinful life. If there is a God, I know he hates me. I never should have come here. I never should have tried to change the past. I just made everything worse. If I hadn't come here to try and stop it, the murder wouldn't have ever happened. I know now. Time travel is evil. It should never be used by anyone. It's the devil's research. It needs to be destroyed. I'm sorry I gave you hope. I'm sorry I told you about any of this. We never should have encountered each other. You would have been better off without me. Because if we hadn't met, maybe you wouldn't have died. Never again. I'm never using this damn time machine again. After I take you back to your own time, I'm returning back to mine and destroying it. That is what's best for both of us. Don't give up. Didn't you hear what I just said? No, I understand. You're the one dying here. I can't expect you to accept it so easily. I want to save you, more than anything else in the world. But what little hope I had left is now completely gone. I failed you, completely and utterly. 
You never deserved someone like me. Uh huh. What are you doing? You're hugging me. But why? At a time like this, aren't you angry? What are you saying? You love me anyway? That's an odd thing for you to say. I'm from the future, so I've known you for a very long time. But from your point of view, you've only known me for about a day. I don't know why you feel this way about me already, but thank you. I'm so grateful to have had someone like you in my life. Even now, you're sticking by me. You really are amazing. I was truly glad to have met you. Even though you'll be gone when I return back to my own time, even though you're no longer alive, you'll never fade from my memory. You'll always be my soulmate. Forever. I'll take you back now. Don't worry. This won't be the last time you experience time travel. When you meet the version of me from your own present, you'll fall in love with my past self and start dating. After a while, you'll receive a mysterious letter from my dying uncle who wants to give you a mysterious device. That mysterious device is the time machine. You'll be able to go on so many adventures. Of course, from my point of view, all of that's happened already. But as I said, the next few years of your life are going to be the best you've ever lived. Anyway, thank you. And again, sorry. Is that all you have to say, you damn coward? Huh? Who's there? Who the hell are you? Me? <laughs> I'm the guy who's about to kick your ass. <laughs> huh. That felt good. I've been waiting so long for that. Oh, hey, who, who the hell are you? What do you want with us? Great, so you're a coward and a dumbass. I'm embarrassed to share the same face as you. And the same genes. And the same body. Never mind that. Take a closer look at my face. Who do I look like? You've got quite a long beard, so I'm... Um, Santa Claus? No, you dumbass. Look closer. Let's see. Wait. Uh, hang on. You're... me? No shit, Sherlock. You finally figured it out. That's right. I'm you from the future. And I've come back in time to kick your ass. Wait, but why? Because you're the version of me that I hate. You're the coward that gave up on the love of their life. You're a spineless, pathetic idiot. And I'm here to tell you that you're a bastard. I did everything I could. I know I'm terrible. I know I'm pathetic. I don't need to be reminded of that. And who are you to say anything? You made the same decisions I did. That's right. As much as I resent you, we're one and the same. Then you understand, don't you? It's impossible to change the past. Even you being here right now is predetermined. If you're going to let something like impossibility stop you, can you really say you love your partner? That doesn't make any sense. If it can't be done, then it can't be done. You fool, listen to me. It doesn't matter what the laws of the universe dictate. I'm telling you to go beyond your limits and do the impossible. You're contradicting yourself. You can't do the impossible. Yes, you can. I can't believe it. I can't believe you're me. You expect me to believe this stupid, delusional, senile old man is my future self? What kind of sick joke is this? I'll tell you one more time, you stupid grandpa. I saw them die. I saw them get shot. I saw them bleed out as I held them in my arms. I saw their body in the coffin as it was lowered into the grave. All of these events that I just told you. All of these facts. None of this can be changed. If it could be changed, it would cause a paradox. Because then why would I go back to prevent the death if I didn't witness the death in the first place? What I saw can't be changed, and there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Kid, you just answered your own question. What do you mean? What you saw can't be changed, but that's it. That's the only rule. Let me pose a question. What if there was a way to change the past without actually changing the past? Hang on. What are you suggesting? Kid, 
You saw your partner die. But you know for sure that they actually died. What if they faked their death? Maybe they're still alive in your timeline, hiding and waiting. That doesn't make sense. Why would my partner fake their own death? I think you have the answer to that question. Holy shit! Wait, that's it! I have to make sure my past self sees the murder happen without the murder actually happening. Bingo. Now you're starting to think like me. I just need to have my partner fake their own death. And then my other self will see the murder happen the same as I did. He'll go back in time and try to stop it, just like I did, and fail over and over. But he won't know the one he's trying to save is actually alive. Eventually, he'll end up exactly where I am now. And the process will repeat itself. Congratulations, kid. You solved the puzzle. This is amazing. I can finally do it. The answer was in plain sight this whole time. I can't even believe it. It's not impossible after all. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I've gotta take my meds before my entire nervous system shuts down. Wait. One more thing. If you're my future self, then you should already know whether this plan ended up working or not. So I have to ask. You managed to save them, right? <laughs> it's better you find out yourself. I don't want to spoil the surprise. What the hell's that supposed to mean? I'm heading off. Goodbye and good luck. You don't understand any of what we just talked about? All right, let me explain it the best I can. Basically, the reason why the past can't be changed is because changing an event you've already witnessed would prevent you from going back to change it in the first place. For example, if someone dies and you go back in time and prevent their death, that would also change the fact that you saw them die. And if you never saw them die, and you'd also have never made the decision to go back in time to prevent their death. And if you'd never gone back in time to prevent it, then they would have died. See how that creates a paradox? Our universe simply prevents that from happening. The reason why I can't prevent your death is because doing so would create a situation where I wouldn't have a reason to go back and save you. After all, why would I try to stop you from dying if I didn't know you were going to die? However, we now have a workaround. If we somehow fake your death and make sure everything looks the same, then my past self will react the same way as if you'd actually died. That way, my current memories will stay exactly the same. After all this time, I've finally found a way. And all it took was my future self beating me to a pulp. Huh? You thought changing the past was impossible? Well, actually, it is impossible, but technically, we're not changing the past. You see, if this plan works, that would mean that your future self has been alive this whole time, hiding and waiting for the events to play out as they remember, so that they can finally meet me again after our mission is finished, which is a very comforting thought. Even so, there's no guarantee that this will work. Something could always go wrong, and if it does, and then we'll lose our chance forever. Never mind that, though. I've already made a plan. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go swap Johnny's gun with a fake gun that doesn't shoot real bullets. It'll make the same noise as a real gunshot, and it'll have the same muzzle flash, but nothing will come out. And then whenever he goes to commit the murder, he'll only think he's shooting you. Of course, you may be asking, how will we get your other self to play along and pretend to die? Well, that's where you come in. We're gonna have you swap places with your other self. We'll safely get rid of your other self by making them unconscious or something. Then, I'll put some makeup on you to make you look older. Finally, you'll meet up with my past self for the anniversary date. After the day is over, you'll go to Golden Street. And when Johnny shoots you, all you have to do is pretend to die by falling over and activating a combustible blood pack. And as for the body, after you've pretended to die and my past self runs away to go get help, you'll quickly get up and I'll put a fake body in your place. With how advanced technology is in this time period, we have 3D printers capable of recreating an entire human body. 
It is possible to tell the difference, but they won't do a thorough autopsy. After that, everything will be set. You'll get to go home with the peace of mind that you're not going to die. And I can return to a future where you're still alive. At long last, we'll finally be together again. Are you ready? Good. Then let's commence the final operation. Alright, our first stop is... Wait, are those sirens? Oh shit, this is bad. Remember when we beat up Johnny and threw him into the trunk? The police are still after us for that. The time we traveled back to was just slightly after we kidnapped him, so the cameras must have recognized our faces. We can't afford to get arrested. If we do, they'll lock us up for quite a few years. The time machine would get stolen by someone while we were away. We'd never get a second chance. But on the other hand, there's no way out. We're surrounded by police cars. They'll shoot us to death if we run. Is this really where it ends for us? No. It can't be. I won't let it end here. I used to be the kind of person who never gave up. Who found a solution to every problem. But after losing the person dearest to me, I became a shell of my former self, but not anymore. I'm going to reclaim what I used to be. I'm going to live up to my name. Attention suspect, you are under arrest. Surrender now and you will not be harmed. Hold on there just a second. Before you arrest me, I want to talk with you. No, not the people with their guns pointed at me. I'm talking to you, the ones looking at me through the police cameras right now. I'm talking to the higher ups. The ones in power. I know you're watching. I'm not stupid. Do you remember what happened ten years ago? This country was on the brink of nuclear annihilation after receiving a declaration of war from North Korea. But against all odds, a man showed up. A mysterious man. One with a strange ability to predict the future. He gave the government the exact instructions they needed to stop the attack completely. Suspect, if you do not comply, you will be shot. Or how about this? Five years ago, a large group of terrorists hijacked a live television broadcast and announced that they planned to destroy the U.S. within 24 hours with an extremely powerful nuclear device. But unexpectedly, two mysterious people infiltrated the building and defused the bomb, saving the entire country. Put your hands behind your head right now. This is your final warning. Or how about this? Three years ago, the U.S. government attempted to combat the overpopulation crisis by killing off a percentage of the country's population in an operation called Operation Blacklight. These plans were strictly classified and never made known to anyone outside the Special Forces and CIA. And yet, the same man showed up once again, infiltrating the CIA and destroying all the communications equipment before finally holding the president at gunpoint. He said that the people of the world were under his protection and if they ever tried something like that again, he would destroy the U.S. government. I could name hundreds more times, scattered across history, in which that same man and his partner have managed to stop some kind of insurmountable threat. The peacekeepers is what the United Nations have decided to call them, because they've prevented hundreds of wars since Vietnam. They're your greatest mystery, your greatest saviors, and your greatest threat. But the man only referred to himself by one name, one name that I know has been burned into your skulls. Foster. You may be wondering how I know all of this. Who am I exactly? Well, to tell you the truth, I've recently been wondering the same thing. Just who am I? Suspect, you have 10 seconds to surrender. All units, take aim and prepare to fire. I fell into a spiral I couldn't get out of. And I suffered a pain that words can't come close to describing. But now I know. Now I know. That only happened because I lost faith in myself and forgot who I really was. So listen here and listen well. My name is Foster. I'm the man who does the impossible. And from now on, 
You are under my command. The suspect has decided to resist. All units, fire at will. Huh? What the hell's that? This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system. This message is being transmitted at the request of the United States President. The United States President has issued the following instructions. All police officers within this sector of the city are to lower their weapons immediately. Repeat. Lower your weapons immediately. The man calling himself Foster is not to be harmed under any circumstances. Additionally, you must follow any orders he gives from this point onward. What's going on? Never mind. All units, lower your weapons. Now, I'm talking to you. All of you. The ones with your guns pointed at me. I'm going to give you an order. So listen closely. I hereby order you. All of you. Leave this place and forget what you saw. higher-ups are going to have a hard time explaining this to the officers. And that's not our problem, though. That was a close one. If I knew it would be that easy to get rid of the police, I would have done this the first time we got chased. <sighs> In any case, there's no time to waste. We need to get a move on before it gets too late. We're in Johnny's house right now. We just need to find his gun and replace it with this fake. Bingo. There it is. But wait, why does he just leave his gun on the dining room table? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. He is a psychopath. On to the next place. Let's go. This is the 3D printing station. We're gonna need to make an exact copy of your body, so just stand here for a moment. All done. Carrying this fake body around with us is going to make us look very suspicious, so let's go to the next place. Alright, now I'm going to do your makeup. This is to make you look like your older self. Don't worry though, you'll still be pretty. In fact, I rather quite prefer your mature side. Okay, that should do it. You look perfect. There's just one more stop we need to make before we put our plan into action. Now we need to get you to swap places with your older self. That way, you'll go on the date instead, and you'll be the one Johnny tries to shoot. There they are. Once your other self goes into the alleyway, we'll follow behind, and I'll use my taser to knock your other self unconscious. Don't worry. Uh, the electric shock definitely won't cause death. But, at this voltage, it's possible that it might cause some minor damage to the brain. We can't know for sure with this kind of thing. It's a small price to pay if it saves your life. But this is really terrifying. We're kind of playing with your life here. They're moving. Let's go. And stay quiet. <sighs> Alright. Here goes nothing. We did it. Our mission is almost complete. We're close. Closer than we've ever been. But now I'm getting flashbacks to last time. What if it all fails? What if everything we're doing now ends up causing your death instead? Never mind that. It's pointless to debate such things right now. We just have to persevere and succeed. What? The phone on the body's ringing. Hurry. Take it out of the pocket and answer it. Hey, honey. Are you ready for our anniversary date? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that I'll be a little late. I had to stay a few extra minutes at work. I'm on my way to you now, though. Also, you'll never guess what happened. I visited the diner this morning before work to get something to drink, and I saw someone there who looked just like you. Crazy, right? <laughs> anyway, I'll see you soon, okay? I love you. You handled that pretty well. All we have to do now is wait for him to arrive. I guess I should leave now. 
I wouldn't want to get seen by my past self. I trust you can take it from here. Huh? Oh, the phone's ringing again. That's odd. I don't remember calling twice. Go ahead and answer it. He probably just forgot to mention something. Hello? Can you hear me? Is anyone there? Answer me! Huh? You want to know who I am? <laughs> That's a stupid question. Don't you recognize my voice? It's me, Johnny. Hey, what's wrong? You look terrified. Who just called you? Put it on speakerphone. I'm so sorry to interrupt you during such an important time. You're just about to go on your anniversary date, aren't you? That's quite nice, considering that you beat me up earlier and stuffed me inside the trunk of your car. Listen, that wasn't us. We have no idea what you're talking about. Really? Because you sure look like the people who beat me up. Wait, are you watching us? Of course I am, lover boy. I'm right behind you. Huh? <clears throat> oh, and another thing? I know you're both time travelers. Wait, what? How do you know that? I heard you talking about it when I was in the trunk of your car. <laughs> I was only unconscious for a couple of seconds. And you believed all that? Most people wouldn't believe that stuff in a million years. Well, I'm not most people. I believe in all sorts of things. Things that made people think I was crazy. Things that got me locked up. Compared to all the shit this psych ward has on me, time travel is one of my less outlandish beliefs. How much do you know? Once I woke up, I heard you guys talking about time travel and trying to prevent someone's death or something. Once I put all the pieces together, I realized exactly what was going on. You were attacking me to stop me from murdering your partner, weren't you? I could certainly imagine that's something I would do in the future. <laughs> you bastard! I know about everything, lover boy. You replaced my gun with a fake one so I couldn't commit the murder. Well, guess what? Your plan's all gone to shit. I got myself another gun earlier, and it works just fine. Wait. No. Please, no. I'll just kill you now, and I'll kill your partner at the end of the day. At Golden Street, right? I'll kill their future self. That's just what you were trying to stop. Now that I know about your plan, there's no way for you to stop it anymore. No. Please. Don't do this. This was our last chance. Game over, lover boy. It was fun playing against a time traveler. But now... You die. We have gathered here today for the death of a very important individual. They were a vibrant soul, bringing life to every room they entered. A true inspiration to us all. Damn it. I don't get it. Why can't I do anything? But it is always the best of things that must come to an end. All things, no matter how wonderful, will find their end point. I've tried over and over so many times, but you just keep dying. What the hell's time travel for? I can't rewrite the past at all. Now, they will only live on in our memory. It was a great privilege to have you among us. Farewell, and goodbye. I don't care how many times it takes. I will keep trying, even if I have to try for the rest of my life. Because I love you. I'm nothing without you. No. I refuse to give up. You. You kicked it out of my hand. Yeah. And I'm gonna kick your ass next. Look. Why can't you just leave us alone? Because you're assholes. Everyone's an asshole. <laughs> why do you think everyone's an asshole? What did they ever do to you? I've been rejected all my life. I tried so hard to be an ideal person, and yet, I've always suffered. All the while they go about living their happy little lives. Why do they deserve to be happy while I don't? Huh. <laughs> Stay down. I don't want you interfering anymore. I'm gonna end this once and for all. Damn it. What now? We needed to recreate the scene of the murder. And to do that, we needed Johnny to appear to kill you without actually killing you. 
And now that he knows about the plan, there's no way it'll work. He knows we're time travelers. If we replace his gun, he'll have another. He'll make sure you're dead. That's the least of your problems. I'm gonna kill you right now. Why are you really doing this? You said that you hate the world because everyone else is enjoying their lives. That's really it? You want to kill us because you're jealous of our happiness? So what if I am jealous? All of my life I've been alone. Not a single person took pity on me. Not one. Do you want to know the real reason I'm like this? It's because it's all I can be. I don't belong anywhere. I don't belong with anyone. I used to be happy, you know, as a child. The days when I was held in my mother's arms were the best of my life. But all of this, all of this is because of her, my own damn mother, the only person I ever cared about. She left me alone to die. Wait, what was that? Say that again. Huh? Are you fucking death? I said she left me alone to die. That's your reason for killing us? What if she didn't abandon you? Would you still be doing this to us? If she'd never tossed me away like she did, I'm sure I'd be a completely different person. Why the hell do you want to know? Because your mother didn't abandon you. She lost you. By accident. What? You're bluffing. How could you possibly know something like that? Because I'm a time traveler, Johnny. After you killed my partner the first time, I did background checks on you. Found your past. Found your family. During my many attempts to stop the murder, I decided to try and stop you from even being born. But I got the coordinates wrong, and ended up in a time after you were already born. That's when I found out the truth about you. And I'll tell you now. Your mother didn't abandon you. I don't believe you. You're lying. You're just saying this to make me spare you. You want proof? Fine then. I'll take you to see her. You've got another thing coming if you think you can trick me into falling into one of your traps. There's no way in hell I'm going anywhere with you. Then you can keep me at gunpoint the whole way. If I try anything, you can just shoot me. There's nothing I could possibly do to outsmart you right now. All I want is to show you the truth. Fine then. I'll give you ten minutes to show me whatever it is you're trying to show. If you try anything, I'll kill you right then and there. That's fine. We won't take long. we now? This is the day your mother lost you. The day that changed your life forever. Wait, over there. That's, that's her. Wait, don't go. Just stay here and watch for a moment. That's my mother. And in that trolley, that's, that's me. Me as a little boy. I was so innocent back then. She's looking at my young self so affectionately. Now, Watch and see what happens next. What? The trolley. It got blown away. It's rolling down the hill. Hey, we need to stop it. There's no point. We can't change the past. She's looking for me. She looks so scared. No way. I always thought that she was the one who pushed the trolley. I never tried to find her again because I thought she hated me. But it was an accident all along? That's right. She lost you by accident. And you want to know something? She cried for you every day after that. She spent years looking for you, made calls to the police, put up missing posters. But you went off the radar. You grew up on the street, snatching people's wallets and stealing food from stands. All the while, you never even knew that she was looking for you. No way. I... I have to talk to her. I have to talk to her right now. Mother, it's me. Stop. Not here. She won't know who you are. Return back to the present with us. 
then go look for her. She's still out there somewhere, and she's waiting for you. I can't believe this. All this time, I thought she hated me, but she loves me. I spent so many years of my life going insane and doing sadistic things. I should have spent those years looking for her, damn it. It's not too late. You can make up for all of this. Foster, I don't know what to say. This changes everything. I can't go on living the way I have. She'd be so ashamed if she knew all the things I've done. I'm a madman. Then atone for what you've done. If you do good things for the world, you can make her proud again. Good things? Like what? I've got a job for you. A job which will help me and my partner a lot. And if you do it, you'll be one step closer to being the man you ought to be. <sighs> all right, Foster. You win. This was all part of your plan, wasn't it? I'll do what you say. From now on, I'm under your command. All right, Johnny. I need you to do everything you were originally planning to do. At exactly 6 p.m. on Golden Street, you need to shoot my partner in front of my past self. Except, you won't be using a real gun. You'll be using the fake gun I gave you before. So you just need me to fake their death? All right. I can do that. Excellent. Oh, crap. Is it that time already? Darling, it's almost time for you to meet up with my past self for the anniversary date. Head out of this alleyway. He'll be waiting for you in front of the red building. Don't worry. The hard part is over. Now it's all up to you. Don't blow your cover. Oh, there you are, honey. I'm really sorry I took so long. I didn't mean to keep you waiting. Hey, you look kind of different today. I can't quite put my finger on it, though. Are you ready for our date? Awesome. Then let's go. How do you like this cafe? I thought it might suit the occasion. Especially since, if I remember correctly, it's where you technically first met me. Well, not me me, but future me. Before you actually met me, you met a version of me from the future. Being a married time travel couple is pretty weird like that, isn't it? Maybe sometime you should go back in time and talk to my past self. Say, which of our adventures so far would you say is your favorite? Hey, I asked first. You answer me. No, oh, fine. Well, well, let's see. There's that time we got stuck in ancient Greece and fought our way out of the gladiator arena using flashbang grenades. There's that time we stopped terrorists from blowing up Washington with a nuclear bomb in 2012. And then there's that time we went back to the Second World War and our time machine got stolen by scientists from the German army. And we had to get it back by starting a resistance group in Berlin before finally having a sword fight with the Fuhrer himself. Yeah, I'd say that one was the coolest. We've been married for a few years now. You really are the most important person in the world to me. Without a doubt, these have been the best years of my life. <laughs> it's true, though. And that's even besides the whole time machine thing. If we'd never come across it, I'd still consider this to be my life at its best. My younger self would be so happy to know I'd end up becoming a time traveler. It was kind of a childhood fantasy of mine. But you want to know what was an even bigger childhood fantasy of mine? Marrying someone beautiful. <laughs> Dumbass, I'm referring to you. You're beautiful. Oh, you finished your coffee. Well then, shall we move on? There's a few more places I'd like to visit before our date is finished. Hey, today was really fun. We should have more anniversaries. <laughs> I know it doesn't work that way. I'm kidding, obviously. Man, being a time traveler is awesome. But sometimes, just going out on a normal date is really refreshing. 
Hey, what's wrong? You're scared, aren't you? I know. You told me you're supposed to die one of these days, right? It's something my future self told you when you were younger. Listen to me. There's no way in hell I'm gonna let that happen. I believe that love is stronger than fate. You're not gonna die. I'll protect you, no matter what. Just think about all the adventures we've been on. Time and time again, we've cheated death. Remember that time we got captured by German soldiers during World War II? We both thought that was the end. But against all odds, we outsmarted them. And not only did we escape, we managed to rescue all of the other prisoners too. No matter what happens, we'll always figure a way out. That's just who we are. As long as we're together, nothing in the world can stop us. Hold it right there, you two. Stop where you are. What the hell? Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> You're asking who I am? Of course you would. You don't remember me. No one ever remembers me. The name's Johnny. I think you've got us confused with someone else. Please, leave us alone. Leave you alone? After what you did to me? Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> Society is all the same. No one understands how they've made me suffer. Now you'll pay. Now you'll pay for hurting me. Oh, hey, put that gun away. Please. We don't want any trouble. You want me to leave you alone? All right. Fine. I won't hurt you. You are free to go. Uh-huh. What? You're free to go. People nowadays don't value their own lives anymore. They care about their precious little families. So that's why I'm gonna kill your lover. Wait, no, stop. Say goodbye to your precious partner, lover boy. Who am I? I'm so glad you asked. Tell me. Where do you want to go? Listen to me. Listen to my right. voice. I've got just the place. little time you have left. You I have to tell you something. Secrets. Make sure you strap this. What did he just say? He was no, no, really it weird. can't be. However long it takes. I don't care how many times it takes. No matter what. I will keep trying to save you. Even if I have to try for the rest of my life. It doesn't matter what the laws are. Because I love you. He's doing this because I'm nothing without you. You did it. You changed the past. And what's more... You got the crazy serial killer bastard on your own side. I told you it would be a surprise. <laughs> anyway, with this, the mission's finally complete. My job here's done. Good luck past me. Go out there with the one you love and live a good life. Oh, what am I saying? I already know you're gonna. Die, you pathetic bitch. Rotten hell. And you, boy. Suffer for the rest of your days. Oh God, how could this have happened? You're, you're bleeding. It's not stopping. Hey, stay with me. Don't die, you hear me? I need you here. I need you here with me. Damn it. We both knew this would happen. But why? Why does it have to be this way? Listen to me. Listen to my voice. With what little time you have left, I have to tell you something. Whatever it takes, whoever it takes, however long it takes, no matter what, I will save you. It doesn't matter what the laws of the universe dictate. I believe with all of my heart that the past can be changed. So this isn't goodbye. It's never goodbye. I know that I'll find a way to bring you back, you hear me? We're not ordinary people, damn it. Reality bends to our will. We have the power to change the world. Even if that chance is 0.1%, I will find it. One day, we will be together again. So just wait for me, okay? I love you. Always remember that. I want to go get help. Don't you die on me.
Good luck, Foster. These next few years will be the hardest of your life. Was I convincing? Yes. A bit too convincing, actually. Let me put down the fake body. Well, my job here is done. I'll get going. Thanks for everything, Foster. I've got a new life to start for myself. I can't believe it. It's finally over. We won. You're saved. This makes me so happy. After so long, we finally found a way. It feels almost like I'm dreaming. Like you're not actually here. It's too good to be true. <laughs> I'm crying tears of joy right now. I love you so much. You're alive. You're alive! I'm sorry to say, but... This is where we part ways. It's time for me to return to the future. To go and find you. Wherever you decided to hide. Thank you. For everything. This is the best outcome I could have ever hoped for. Let's go. I'll take you back to your own time. This is exactly the place and time I took you from. It's only been a few seconds since you left. It'll be as if you were never gone. Don't you worry. Everything's gonna be okay from now on. You've lived a difficult life, full of tragedy and suffering. But now is when all of that changes. Because now you know you have something to look forward to. Now you know there's someone who loves you more than anything. No matter how bad life seems in the present, things will always get better. After every storm is a bright sunny sky. Remember that, darling. Even when I'm not with you. Huh? You don't want me to leave? I understand that. You want to stay with me forever. And you will soon. But right now, I can't stay. This isn't where I belong. This isn't my time. I have to make space so that you'll meet with the past me and fall in love the way you were meant to. Before I leave, though, I'll let you have one last gift. Close your eyes. Goodbye, darling. I love you. You'll see me again in a few years. Until then, just keep on living. Ladies and gentlemen, here is a Manhattan Bus 7 train approaching Hunters Point Avenue.
Hello there. Uh, can I help you? That's right. I'm Foster. How did you know my name? Are you from my workplace? I don't remember seeing you there today. Or ever, actually. But even so, there's something about you that seems really familiar. We have to have met before. Huh? Do I... Believe in fate? That's a pretty weird question to ask someone you don't know very well. But if you must know, my answer is no. I don't. I only believe in straight facts and provable science. Let me guess. You believe in fortune tellers and star signs. Listen, I've got nothing against that kind of stuff, but it just isn't for me. A friend of mine pushed me into visiting a fortune teller recently, and apparently I'm going to meet my soulmate soon, which I know is a load of crap. I'm dying alone, and I'm okay with that. When I'm older, I'm getting a whole bunch of cats. That's all the company I'm going to need. Listen, y you seem pretty alright. We're going to be waiting here for another while, and uh, I'm feeling kind of hungry. There's a vending machine somewhere inside, so I'm going to go get something. Want me to bring you something, too? It's fine, I can pay for it. You can pay me back some other time. Maybe you can take me out to dinner or something? <laughs> Wait, you will? Holy shit, I thought I was making an ass out of myself. Well, all right then. It's a deal. Tell me, what do you want from the vending machine? All right, you stay here. I'll be right back. Excuse me, sorry to bother you, but this is important. Have you recently seen a young man around here? He's tall, wears a jacket, and he goes by the name Foster. You see, him and I have some business to settle. You haven't seen him, I see. Well then, I'll be on my way. Hey, I'm back. Hang on, are, are you alright? You look like you just saw a ghost. Here, eat this. It'll get your mind off whatever it is you're worrying about. Life has a weird way of working out in the end. So, whatever it is, don't stress. Hold it right there, Foster. What? Who the hell are you? I'm from the Doomsday Cult. Or at least, I was. Until you destroyed us. Destroyed everything we built. I have no idea what you're talking about. I know you don't. That's because you haven't done it yet. Fifty years from now, the mighty Doomsday Clan will take its place as the rulers of the world. But just one year after that, you came along to ruin everything. I'm from the future, and I'm here to stop you from destroying our family. Wait, please, don't shoot. I have no idea what's going on. This is for the greater good. Now die, Foster. Glory to the Doomsday Cult! No! Ugh. Holy crap! You saved my life! You tased him and took him down without hesitation! What the hell did he mean? He said he was from the future or something. And he wanted to kill me to stop me from destroying some cult? What a maniac! Who was he? Actually, no. I've got a better question. Who are you? You knew what my name was, and you didn't look all that shocked when that man showed up. You're obviously not an ordinary person. Who are you? Huh? What? You're... my future soulmate? 